Welcome to part number 35 of Gran Turismo 5 B-Spec. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're going to be doing the MR Sports Cup. So I went and got my Lamborghini Countach 25th Anniversary 1988, tuned it up to the appropriate performance points for the other cars to match with it, and yeah, painted it white. Good old white, although it's not a Lamborghini factory color, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's a standard car. So here it is, MR Sports Cup. Got three races, Circuit de la Sorth, High Speed Ring, and Deep Forest in reverse order. So I'm going to Deep Forest, and I'm going to have Vargas take the wheel. He's feeling, he's feeling pretty good. Let's have him race. So we have Ferrari F40. Oh, Cadillac Sien. Yikes. But anyways, I... I tuned this thing up quite a bit because the other cars are pretty fierce and I had to give it a transmission just because I don't know how this Lamborghini is going to handle. I don't know how fast this thing is going to be. Really the only car that doesn't stand a chance is the Lotus. Alright, so here we go. How's Vargas going to handle the pressure of knowing that there's a McLaren F1 all the way in the back? All right, Vargas, making an outside pass into T1. Okay, I see you, buddy. I see you. Your tablet's acting up. Oof. What's going on with it? Ooh, just taking a little easy. I can see the smoke kicking up from the tires, buddy. Let's maintain his pace. Yeah, I'm surprised the Cadillac Sien didn't take the lead right at the start. M. Tyson, Mike Tyson's insane. He melts instantly and literally does not turn past 15 percent. Jeez. <laughs> Good old Iron Mike. Great at boxing, not so much professional auto racing. He actually goes way quicker overall if you spam decreased pace. Well, yeah, that's true because you're supposed to calm down the. You're supposed to make the really aggressive drivers feel calm. Wow, the Lotus is actually in fourth place. That's a surprise. So we have the Saline S7 leading. Our Lamborghini running in second. Just by a decibel or two. Okay. That should be much better now. Maybe a pass into T1. Ooh, did he get a little bit of air? He did, that was awesome. Two cars that should have been premium in this game. Without a doubt in my mind. That McLaren F1 has not even made any effort to go to the front. Okay, he's in seventh now, right when we said that. If this was Circuit de la Sarth, I think I'd be a lot more worried. But this is where I deep forest and I geared, you know, the transmission up for this relatively slow track. You know, it's not as fast as like Grand Valley because it doesn't have a really long straightaway, but it's still a pretty good track to race at. And yeah, Vargas is doing a good job. I'm just so happy you can run on softs in this particular championship because I think if we were on hard tires, I think he would suffer tremendously. All right, Vargas, doing good. Maintain the space. Let's take a look at the rest of the field. So S7 is second. Yeah, problem is that he insanely slows. He has insanely slow exit speeds and breaks 100 meters too early. So basically decrease pace all the way until crucial exit zones, and hopefully he turns enough. <laughs> are you sure that was a tablet problem, Undertale, or are you sure you weren't getting a little bit curious? <laughs> oh no, the McLaren's in fourth. Damn it. I don't know how hard Vargas is pushing. From that camera angle, it looked like he was getting a little bit loose, but I don't know. Okay, the Mira. 
running in third, about to get second place. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right when I said, oh, the McLaren's not making any effort to get to the front. Nope. He's starting to haul ass quite a bit. So we need Vargas to pull out a good gap while these guys are busy fighting each other. <laughs> Cause just punished you for that on a Peggy 3 game. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot the Europeans have the Peggy system. We have the ESRV here. Peggy 3. Or rated E for everyone. All right. Well, Velasquez and the Mira. Damn, okay, they're holding off the McLaren. So that gives Vargas a little bit of wiggle room to slow down just a little bit. Don't want him to decrease the pace too much. We don't want a scenario where Cause threw away a massive gap at Grand Valley. No one, yes, I was. <laughs> it's okay. Alright, well, Vargas is cooling down a little bit, so increase the pace, buddy. Let's give some love to F430. Okay, that's not a car I expected to be dead last. I expected this Lotus to be dead last, but it's running P6. Solid effort. EA Sports in the game. No, 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 no. I remember 989 Sports. Don't. Does anyone remember 989 Sports? I don't even remember what 989 Sports is. To be honest, like, I don't even remember any specific titles from 989. I don't know if that was like a... Maybe if you can download Malwarebytes and run a scan. Yeah, I mean... It, it, yeah, probably malware bites on a on Android would probably work. The only thing I remember from 989 is Siphon Filter, the greatest Metal Gear Solid ripoff of all time. Eh, it's not really a Metal Gear ripoff. I mean, people say it is. But it's alright. It's not really much sneaking. You don't really sneak around in Siphon Filter. It's more just shoot terrorists with tasers and then they light on fire and like die <laughs> it's all you really do in siphon filter because let's be honest everyone plays off a filter just to use the damn taser okay these guys have less mental or not mental physical strength than Vargas does So that could be a huge factor into the end of the race. Ooh. Come on, Cadillac, get up there. I really like the way the car sounds in GT4, although those damn gear shifts are so slow in that game. I'm not sure if it's slow in GT5 as well, because I've personally never driven the... Uh, whoa! Vargas with the massive air heading into T1. Holy crap. Anyways, um, yeah, I, I've never used the car in GT5, but in GT4, the gear shifting was so slow. GT7 needs a championship called Turn Back, where every AI car is a hybrid and goes 3,000 miles an hour. We have a little battle for P5 now. I thought it was going to be smooth sailing for the CN, but I was wrong. Whoa! The freaking Lotus coming in super hot. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself, UFC.
Okay, this might be the chance for the McLaren to start gaining positions. He's getting a run. Never mind. Stays right behind the sailing for whatever reason. Ooh, big sideways slide. I mean, Vargas is used to driving heavy stock cars, not necessarily supercars like these, so I do expect him to struggle a little bit. But hey, then again, it's just a video game, man. It's coincidentally named R. Vargas. Definitely, UFC, definitely. I haven't watched it since the uh, first 10 minutes, unfortunately, so I'll definitely hopefully finish it tomorrow. I hope so. Or maybe even tonight. Who knows? I mean, I can watch it after the stream's over. I don't have to go to bed early or anything. I don't have school or work or anything this weekend, so I'm good. Well, we have three laps to go. Things are pretty much smooth sailing up front, but then the fight for second is really intensifying. Can we get a Lamborghini Classic 1 2? Possibly. But I have a feeling that McLaren is going to finish second. Why did it get blocked to begin with? Did you have the, uh... Did it get blocked by FOM because you had some music or something? Oh, that's right, there's a 4 GT in the field. I completely forgot about that. The three Ferraris all the way in the back. What a shame. Disappointing day for the Scuderia. Warner Music Group? What? Really? Yeah, I mean... It could be blocked in countries that are not in Europe. Maybe that's the thing, like, my Gran Turismo 1 LP, I originally included the intro for the Japanese version, but Moon Over the Castle is actually uh, blocked in Japan, which is interesting. So I had to remove it because I was like, do I have a Japanese audience? And even if I didn't have a Japanese audience worldwide, wow. Damn. <laughs> FOM never plays. Or, I mean, Warner Music Group does not play. Hell, FOM actually doesn't play either. But anyways, um, yeah, at first I was like, do I even have a Japanese audience? I looked at my analytics. I like have 0.1% viewers in Japan. But then I was just like, even if I don't have any viewers in Japan right now, it still would be messed up to exclude them from watching the video if it minds if they ever stumble upon it, you know what I mean? So I was like, yeah, I have to remove the song, which sucks, but it is what it is. All right, Vargas pretty much has the race under his belt. I want to see this fight for second or third because the mirror looks like he's slightly pulling away. So White Flag is out. Makes zero sense because the song is up in full on two different channels, but it eventually... But I got it up eventually anyway, spent way too long on it. Damn. Okay, let's increase his pace just one more time. Be safe. Now let's get back to the action. So Velasquez holding on to second place. Marshall in the Selena 7th, 3rd, and Lombardo in 4th disappointing fourth place running order for the McLaren arguably the best car in the entire race 
but just stuck behind the back markers and qualifying P12. Just, just could not make it happen today. FOM is a savage with copyright, though I pulled it off from official BBC and Sky intros. Either way, FOM didn't care, thankfully. Yeah, FOM is pretty savage when it comes to copyright strikes. Like, you, you barely upload one snippet of an F1 race and you get the ban hammer right away, but IndyCar racing, you can upload a full race and not get in trouble for it. <laughs> like, IndyCar cares, does not even give a fuck at all about people using their footage. Hey, what's going on? Uh, the person with the Russian name, I'm sorry, I cannot read that, but how's it going, dude? Welcome to the stream. And we win by over seven seconds. Vargas is the man. What? You're kidding. You saw a full spa race in 1080p. Are you sure it didn't have like the little theater background or the image flipped? Because that's how people usually get around FOM's copyright detection and upload the full races. So, round number two, high speed ring. Here... We're going to experience some different things, and Vargas will race again. No, no, that's, that's what I'm saying. Right, I, I, know you, I, I know you meant 2018, but what I'm asking is, like, people, they didn't change the, the footage at all by, like, adding filters or, like, making it look like a movie theater with the F1 race playing in the middle, like, of the screen or anything like that, because that's how people usually get around the whole band hammer from FOM. Okay, somehow we gained one performance point. I don't know how, but that's cool. <laughs> so I want to say 205 miles an hour should be more than enough for this car at high speed ring. So look, we have another Countach. I will definitely check that. Wow, you're not joking. It's the full race. Huh. What are the odds of that actually happening? Anyways, here we go. Yeah, I, re I wasn't really going anywhere with that uh, intro because <laughs> I got distracted by the fact that there's an actual full Formula One upload on YouTube in full 1080p, no filters or anything. That's interesting. Whoa, okay. Sanchez. Oh. Okay. That's Sanchez's brother, isn't it? And he brake checked the hell out of Vargas as revenge for firing him in part number six. I see, dude. Just because your brother sucked and he gave away every position at the Vitz race doesn't mean you have to be getting revenge and fired him, buddy. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> Okay, who's leading? Oh. Oh, VW W12. Nice. So we're going to have to smash the uh, pace up button. Huh. I believe you. I'm not going to click on the link this time, but I do believe you because we got to focus on leading Vargas to victory. Dude, the W12. Fighting the McLaren F1. The Volkswagen that never became true, sadly. I would have been a hell of a production car if the VW W12 was real. But of course, Vargas has to squeeze his way through into second. <laughs> Are you serious? That's what the comment section consists of? That's pretty funny, dude. No inside pass just yet? Mm -mm -mm. Alright, Vargas. Technically, the Phaeton had a W12. Well, but the Phaeton was never a production car, was it? Like, I I'm not saying that the W12 Nardo is the first ever W12 engine. What I'm saying is, like, it would have been so badass if Volkswagen had actually mass-produced them. 
or made a couple of limited runnings or whatever supercars are like back in the day, but it would have been so awesome. Oh, it, it was a production car? What the hell? I did not know that. Oh, huh, okay. Interesting. I mean, come on. Look at this thing. This thing is awesome. Yeah, it is, dude. It's just one of those concept cars that you're just like, uh, why couldn't, why couldn't it really exist? Well, surprisingly, the wow, Larson in the Zonda catching up to the McLaren. All right. Well, this race is a little bit more intense than Deep Forest because everyone is almost on equal footing here. I had the advantage by tuning the transmission, but here it's just a high speed track. So everybody's gonna be going like 200 miles an hour into turn one, anyways. Well, Vargas is pulling a good gap between himself and Pastor. The Phaeton was... What? Dude. I mean... Chrysler, right? Chrysler Phaeton. Are, are, are you serious? I'm looking this up right now. Wait, VW fake? Oh. Oh. Dude, I'm an idiot. Please excuse my dumb ass for thinking that it was the Chrysler from Gran Turismo 2. Huh. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Really? Dude, I'm so stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the Chrysler Phaeton. I was like, dude, that car never existed. But I forgot Volkswagen actually made one. I completely forgot that they made a Phaeton. Phaeton, Phaeton, however you pronounce it. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, look at that. Countach all the way in the back. Countach leading. Well, Vargas is not cooling down, so I'm just going to tell him to keep pacing up. That's all we can do. Okay, the McLaren's back in second. <laughs> Suck it, Sanchez. Stay back there. Alright, that's good, dude. Really? A beat? Dude, that's... That's actually pretty cool. Looks like this is a, They make some pretty rad cars, honestly. Like, I don't care what people say, I love the Jetta slash Bora. I love that car. Especially the older models. Like the 90s ones. They're... Oh, they're so nice. Surprised it didn't take off. Yeah, that sucks. 
You know, the first ever electric vehicle I ever driven was the E-Golf, and that was at the uh, at the LA Auto Show. That thing is really cool. Electric cars are actually surprisingly fun to drive because of the instant torque. Well, sort of. You know, it's a freaking E-Golf, but yeah, I mean, it's electric engine, so instant torque. But um, yeah, I mean, it's not super fast or anything, but it's still pretty cool. I mean, you can hear everything outside, like the wind and all that, and like... You know, like, like you hitting the road, like it's it's really cool. Last V10s in Volkswagens was a 2003 to 20XX Touareg, I believe. Oh, with the amount of torque. Interesting mixed bag here. A lot of good cars in the field. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. I mean, everyone's so afraid. You know, everyone's so afraid. They're like, oh, the combustion engines are going to be gone. Well, it's like, well, yeah, I mean, technology gets replaced every, you know, like, everything replaces everything, you know, like when it comes to technology. Innovations are always going to replace what's obsolete. It's just the way, it, it's the way technology works. You know, it, it's like we can't replace electric cars, you know. <laughs> we do need a super premium Zonda C slash S slash F. I do agree with that as well. But, yeah, I mean, like, look at the military, for example. You don't see soldiers walking around with World War II weapons, you know what I mean? They all have the latest technology. Same thing with the cars. You're going to have the latest technology take over the entire market. Once they find a more cost-effective way to bring electric vehicles... Yeah, definitely. I mean, electric cars don't have the, um, they don't really have the capacity to make, like, long-distance road trips, for example. You know, like, it depends on, like, how fast they charge and distance and all that good stuff. I mean, the Nissan Leaf barely, barely even took you anywhere. <laughs> I think the BMW, um, i3 is similar. Where, like, the mileage or, like, the miles per charge is, like, really short. I could be wrong on that. Could be wrong. I don't know. Well, pace is... He's pretty much cool. Vargas got to make him increase his pace just a little bit. Almost there. Almost to the end of the race. Vargas is starting to lift a little bit. But it doesn't really matter. Look at the gap he has to pace. Pace is pretty much just cruising. Alright, UFC veteran. Sounds good, dude. See you in a bit. 11 seconds. 12 seconds, actually, if you round out the time. The final lap. Here we go. Vargas only has a few more corners to go, and... Pretty much wins the race. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Almost there. Alright, let's take a look at the battle for third. Vargas pretty much has the win. Ooh, the battle for third. The two Zondas versus the VW W12. Come on, Pastor. Don't let Sanchez get to the top three. Dude, that's what's up, man. <laughs> that's awesome, UFC veteran. Congrats, man. I'm happy for you. Come on, come on, Pastor. Do not let them get around. Do it for Volkswagen. Dude, that's some really good momentum. That's some awesome momentum. Well, the battle's been interrupted because 
Vargas won the race. And that's all we're here for, to see the race victories. All right. That leaves one more track for this championship, and it's the big one. All right, man, see you in a bit. Circa de la Sarth, four laps around here, and wow, everyone's feeling pretty good right now. You know what? Let's have the Le Mans record holder, Kamui Kobayashi, take the wheel. He clearly knows his way around this track. Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? Those cars are starting in the front? Okay, that McLaren is going to have a lot of trouble getting around the, the front guys. Because you have pretty much the... Well, the Zondas are not bad, but the Lotus and the Ferrari F430 have been historically the worst cars in this championship so far from the last two races we've been doing. They're going to cause a lot of issues for the McLaren and the C112S. The Ferrari 512, I mean, he's not really that much of a contender. Here we go. As expected, the McLaren F1 just can't find a way to go. Kobayashi just showing everyone who's boss. Unfortunately, the Lotus is getting stuck behind. Not stuck behind, but he's... Ah. I mean, I know it's the first lap. It's four laps around Circa de la Sarth, but still, it's just... I want him to get around them ASAP. Okay, so it's a Pagani one too. Kobayashi in third. I'm getting a new phone. All right, man, sounds good. It's like a nice little battle. Wow, that's a nice camera angle. Ooh. Okay, I'm hitting the rev limiter a little bit too early. If we lose the race, that's going to be the first thing to adjust. Ooh, that could be the thumbnail, honestly. The two Zondas with the Lambo. Mm -hmm. I want to do Deep Forest, but no, that could be it. <laughs> that's if I even win this race with, with Kobayashi. Love these camera angles. Oh my god. It's too bad the cars are standard though. Ugh. Look who joined the party. Finally. Oh no, in the McLaren F1. Well, that could be a thumbnail there. So nice and steady. Ooh, a little three wide action behind us coming out of the corner. So yeah, I, I, for those who are new to the channel, I'm really bad at remembering corner names. Unless they're obvious ones like um, Yerouge or Tamborello or Porsche Curves. You know, I'm just naming corners. Corkscrew. But yeah, I'm really bad at naming corners, so please excuse me for filling in corner names with just the corner. <laughs> now, if the Zondas can keep the McLaren behind, that would be great. Gotta get him to push a little bit more.
also into the Porsche curves. Let's get him to maintain the gap. Maintain his pace. So he's looking good so far. McLaren's still stuck behind the Zonda. Playing right into our hands. To allow him to pull the gap even more. McLaren losing a little bit of a gap to the Zonda driven by Remy. Things are starting to sort out just a little bit. But not by much. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, Kobayashi, just take it a little bit easy, buddy. I mean, I know you're the track record holder here, but no need to showboat. Please, for the love of God, don't showboat. All right, time for the first straight before the first chicane. Now, this is where the gap can be significantly closed if the cars in the top four work with each other, which is what we don't want. I mean, Kobayashi has a pretty good gap because these guys have been busy battling. But, uh, yeah, I'm hoping that... Hoping that they don't catch up. Hey, Luzine Hole Gus, how's it going? This is your favorite Gran Turismo game? That's cool, dude. GC5 is pretty awesome. I'll be honest with you, Luzino, but um, I kind of had a love-hate relationship for GC5, but now that I'm playing it again, I'm having more of an appreciation. No, god damn it, the McLaren is in second. Actually, but the Zonda's roping him in. But anyways, I, now that I'm playing it more, now that I'm actually trying the spec out with like you know, properly balanced cars and all of that, and actually developing my drivers, it's actually a lot of fun. And thank you so much for subscribing, dude. I appreciate it. All right, good. Remy's back in second. We just need that battle to intensify even more. So the gap, as of this running order, five seconds between myself and second place. Hopefully it stays that way. Oof, starting to kick up deep. You throttle a little bit too much. Ugh. And Ono is back. Ugh. It's not what we want. Alright, he's starting to drop his um, mood down too much. Want him to pick it up a little bit more. Do not want him to lose too much of his speed because we do not want to lose this damn race. I don't want to do this race again. Not that this is my second attempt or anything, but I just do not want to do this championship again. Like, I want to move on. I want to move on to bigger and better stuff. Like when I say it like that, it seems like it's filler, but it's not. <laughs> it's just my really poor way of explaining how I feel about it. Oof. No, 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 Kobayashi. Slow down. Just slow it down a little bit more, bud. Please, por favor. No need to get too crazy right now.
Okay, third lap. I think the gap is starting to close a little bit between myself and second place. No, it's increasing just a little bit. But since we're at a, you know, slow braking section, it looks like on the map that the arrows are getting closer to each other. Although the McLaren's in second, and the Zonda is starting to fall a little bit back to third. Which is not a good thing. You know, this entire time I've been just kind of like slacking off and like looking at Discord real quick. I've noticed that Kobayashi's pace is decreasing quite a bit. And the McLaren's starting to rope him in. That is not good. He's getting a little bit too comfortable. to increase the pace even more. This is not good. I mean, the only thing I can do at this moment is stay positive, but... With that McLaren taking second place and starting to pull away from the Zondas. And the other Zonda, wow, falling back to fifth place. That worries me. Just because Circuit of the Sarth is comprised of many straightaways. Well, two to be exact. But yeah, when a McLaren F1 is really good on the long straightaways, that's not good for our car. We're almost there. This race is taking long. Like, normally, I, these races don't feel like forever, but I guess it's just the fact that, like, the McLaren has the chance to ruin all the progress that we made in this one race. And that's worrying me. It feels like the days feel. It, it feels like the days are hours. Not the days, the minutes. God damn it. <laughs> the minutes feel like hours for me. I feel like it's like 24 hours in the mall or something. So we need him to be nice and tight for the S's. Nothing too crazy, please. We're almost there. Almost there. One more lap to go. Okay, I think it's, I think it's gonna be okay. Ooh, look at that! Oh no, it's slacking off. The Mira caught up to him. I think we'll be fine. Overtake for second, maybe. <laughs> Nicely executed. Whoa. Look who caught up. VW12. Dude, the Mira is just going nuts. Driver has no chill whatsoever.
See, this battle for second is intense, while the first place battle is pretty much gone. I can barely see the cars answering the picture right here. Ooh, come on, VW. Yeah. It's awesome. Almost home free here. Almost. We almost have the victory. Roughly halfway through the track, I want to say, at the end of the straightaway. Let's do the full map. Alright, so now that the fight for the win is pretty much gone, whoa, whoa, what happened to the McLaren? Wow, okay. So the danger is for sure over at this point. Now we can just sit back, relax, and watch the battle for a second. Yeah, Ono is starting to lose it. <laughs> He's being really soft with the throttle. Not even really trying to push, to be honest. Alright, looks like Kobayashi's exiting the curves. have the Ford Chicane to go. That's the final corner. Just the Ford Chicane and we're home free. We pretty much cruise at this point because of the large gap that he has. Out of the final corner and victory at Circa de la Sarth for Kobayashi. Awesome. <laughs> oh man, finally. What a good race. Eh, good for us. Not so much for the McLaren F1. Level 27, cool. So, I'm gonna consider both the Deep Forest and Circuit de la Sarth races for thumbnails. I said earlier that that might be the thumbnail, but I don't know yet. Have to look at both races, see what angles work the best for the thumbnail and the GT5 logo and the you know, fonts and all that good stuff that I add to my thumbnails. So enough about thumbnails and let's see what prize car we win. Oh boy, it's gonna be an MR Cup. Yes, Cadillac Sien, nice. That's what I'm talking about. Give me a badass concept car for the prize. Hello, sexy. So let's go check out our car real quick before ending this segment. There it is. So next time on Gran Turismo 5 B-Spec, we're going to be doing the Japanese Championship. So stay tuned for that.